There you go. Come on. <laughs> okay. Um, a poet. <laughs> um, so um, now it's like there's different types of figurative language. So if you move the thing, you can get to um, alliteration, simile. These are all the ones we're going to learn about today. Onomatopoeia, symbolism, hyperbole, and oxymoron. Okay. And then um, for this part, you would just put the popular tongue twister words in order, so if someone wants to come up, they can put them in order. Anyone? Peter. Libby, come on. Okay. <laughs> you want to come up? Okay, Libby. Yeah, yeah. You did. So. <laughs> <laughs> Libby, you might want to sit up here because I'll probably just call on you for <laughs> all of them. So yeah, all you have to do is put, you just kind of move them. And I don't know if it's calibrated right, so you can just do it. It's right. definitely Do what you got to do. If it doesn't let you put it somewhere, it means it's probably the wrong. We, we forgot to calibrate first. Is it Peter first? Yeah. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> and then you can hit check at the top. And it's all right. Yay. Yay. <laughs> starts with a P and alliteration is, um, if you see the definition up there, it's the occurrence of the same letter or consonant sound at the beginning um, or close to the beginning of a word. And then um, a simile is used on either like or as, and it's a comparison. So I hit this. Maybe. Star. You'll, you'll find a video with simile. calibrate at all. Okay. And now oxymorons are um, two um, are little like um, phrases that are contradictory words. So with this you would just um, move the, make little lines to each of the words that are um, con contradict each other. So if anyone wants to come up here and contradict some words for me. You want to come? Yeah, you can just draw lines to the ones where they
can see how <laughs> it's you know jumbo shrimp like shrimp is tiny jumbo is like really big and they go together and form um, something and then symbolism is you know it's one thing an object person place or an object and it um, represents something else express um, a communication um, more than literal meaning. And so this is just some symbolism in pictures. So my phase, I was saying, you know, possible <coughs> ideas for symbolism are happiness and stuff. And so this is like leaves, and then it's going to say like the symbolism of on leaf, you know, loneliness, death, um, fall, change, coming of winter. American flag um, has symbolism and that's going to be, you know, freedom, patriotism, heroism, 4th of July. So that's just, you know, we have symbols that mean certain things to us, and symbolism is different um, in different countries and stuff. And then um, this is just a game that I have on here, and it's called Word Guess. So um, it's about for figurative language, so you could guess, like, what word is here based on um, the figurative language that we learned today. So no one has to come up, but anyone want to give me a letter to put... If I can show you how it works, too. Oh. Oh. So I hit O. I'll say no, and you could get a hint if you want to. Oh, it did work. Okay. Any other one wants to say a letter? Or know what word it is? Oh, man. Huh? Hyperbole. Hyperbole, so. Not that long, because we messed up. Yeah, so. <laughs> so then it keeps going, and then if you could get a clue. You're driving me up the wall, so you could see like what kind of figurative language is a clue. I don't know. <laughs> I'm and then you get the little sound with it. <laughs> Should I just do the clap? And then well done. Okay, there we go. Thanks, thank you. Do you want me to pause or stop it? <laughs>